Today I'm going to be painting the Imperial Planes from the Aeronautica Imperialist Wings of Vengeance set. I'm going to use the mid to RAF scheme. So that's going to be dark green, ocean grey on the top, and medium sea grey on the bottom. I'm using Hitaka paints from the RAF paint set that they do, um, which is the standard camouflage colours for RAF planes during World War II. If you wanted to do Battle of Britain period, you'd switch out the ocean grey for dark earth for the brown and green scheme. You'd switch out the sea grey for sky type S for the sort of eggshell coloured lower surface. On camera, I'm going to paint one of the Thunderbolts. Everything else will be painting off camera, so I've done it all at the same time and I'm consistent in the scheme. I'll start with all the large surfaces and then I'll come back and I'll start doing all of the detail because there is a lot of detail in these models. So I'll be back in a minute to start painting the, thun the Thunderbolt. So I'm now going to apply Ocean Grey to the top surface of the Thunderbolt. So I've thinned this down with water. If necessary I'll apply two thin coats but this is pretty good coverage of almost the same shade of grey over the primer. So you're looking to cover the entire upper surface. And when it dries it'll look like this. Which is not a massive difference um, but after this we'll start applying the dark green. So I'm now going to apply some dark green uh, in World War II, the RAF had templates that they put over fighters and bombers. Um, I'm not using a template. I'm simply going with something that I think looks decent in order to give some Camouflage. And I am indeed marking out with rough shapes. How I want to do this. So as you can see. I'm going back and filling in all of these colours. So there's a lot of green on this one, so I'll do significantly less green on the next. Just one big green stripe going across the plane. And then a smaller one for that wing. So what you get is a two-tone upper surface. So for this to get good coverage over the grey, it can be necessary to do two thin coats. Uh, if you do, you do. And if you've also got it going over the canopy, you can go in and do the canopy. like so. And then suddenly you've got two-tone camouflage. There might be a couple of areas where I've dipped onto the grey and I didn't mean to. So I can go back and clean those up. But suddenly you've got it's looking a bit more like a fighter plane. So I'm going to come back in a second and do the next bit. So I'm now applying the lower surface colour which is sea grey so again if it's necessary two thin coats but this is a slightly lighter grey over a grey primer so it should cover fairly consistently and well you can see from this plane how little difference there is between these two colours so once this is done We're going to start looking 
at the details. With that grey dry, it's time to start adding some metal, which will start picking out all of the things like the engines. which gives you another colour and it does start getting you ready to do all the detailing. So you've got the engines, you've got these pipes, you've got the Avenger bolt cannons You've got some rivets on here. I've been picking out all the rivets. So this is the one that I've done for practice. You've got the las cannons, the bolt cannons, a little bit of pipes, these pipes here, this engine here. Let's put a little bit more on the nozzle. Underneath you've got some rivets, particularly in the tail. You've got this here, you've got the engines here, you've got a little bit round here. There's a lot that you can do metallic, and once you've done that, you start to see it take shape. To be fair, you could just do the cockpit after this, and it'd be ready to put on the table. But I'm going to come back, do a little bit of gold on all of them, then do the cockpit, then do the panel lining. So I'll be back in a second. So we've got a little bit of retributor armour, and we're going to add a few details to the Thunderbolt. using that. Basically the last cannons get a little bit on them. And we do that to add a bit of visual interest. So looking at this, with that done you could then just do the canopy. And say it's okay by tabletop standards. So it's also let's also get this bit of the Avenger bolt cannons done. We've then got a bit of Stormhost silver. And I'm just going to fill in the glass panes. I do that, and any lenses that I can see, I'm doing that. So that I can use the gem effects from the Citadel Technical Range on those lenses in a minute. So this is actually quite quick as a paint job, but that's because compared to the orc planes you don't have the spot colours. I've not put multiple coats of red on. because. It's just camouflage colours. So we're now at a quite painfully long stage when you get null. Oh, this is Agrax Earthshade. Nope. Agrax Earthshade. I've been using null null for the Marauders. And you panel line everything <laughs> with a brush. 
you can use panel lining products specifically for this. But what you're doing is you're creating well-defined lines between the panels on your planes. And this is going to take a while. And once you've done, say, a wing's worth, you'll get a cotton bud and you'll just roll it over to get rid of any excess. And then you can see the effect when it's done. You've got clearly defined panels. your plane including all the indents on the wing so that's going to be a stage that's going to take a little while once it's done we'll come back and do a little more so as with the Dacker jets we're going to get a little bit of gillum and glaze and we're just going to put it in the windows, which gives them a blue tint like this when it's dry. That gets you to the position where the model's ready to put on the tabletop. However, I am going to do a bunch more detail in before doing so. So I'm going to come back to add a little bit more to the model. So we're going to do a little dry brush of Stormhost Silver on things like the engines, the rear outtake, the intakes, and the Avenger bolt cannons. which for a very simple quick step makes them look a bit nicer. I've applied a coat of varnish to the model but I'm going to do the lenses and running lights using the technical Spirit Stone Red and Soul Stone Blue. So a little drop of this on the gun camera lens and this forward lens and then the blue on these running lights so if you look at them, it's just some tiny dabs of colour. On these, like so. So I'm going to leave that to dry. And that's then ready for me to put transfers on. I will do transfers in a separate video. So let's put a marauder alongside it. So as you can see, they're painted to a tabletop standard. They're okay to put on a gaming table now. Looking at this. Yeah, and they're a reasonable paint job. They're not display quality, but they're definitely gaming quality. So if you've liked this video, hit like and subscribe. If you want to chat, leave a comment below, but otherwise, good gaming.